We're joined here by with Maslan, uh, with Tourism Malaysia, and and and, uh, have, and seeing a lovely performance going on in the background. Yeah. Uh, where are they from, Maslan? They are actually originated here. They are most of them are students in Los Angeles, and been trained by our officer to perform Malaysian cultural show. Actually, um, it's lovely. Yeah. Um, thank you for your time. No problem. Tell us what are Americans enjoying about Malaysia? What should they know? Okay, most of the Americans, they like nature very much. I can bet you whenever they come to our office, whenever they give a call, the first question they will ask about Malaysia is, what can we do about nature and adventure? What are the activities they can find in Malaysia? Well, actually, there are a lot of things. There are a lot of activities you can find. It depends on what is your need and what is your request. We can entertain all. Just name it. So nature. Now, I always thought, of course, a lot of people who travel like shopping, culture, uh, uh, eating and things. Uh, that still remains an attraction, no? Yes, there is. There is. We are talking about food. You can name it what type of food you want in Malaysia. Everything from international food, from local food, from ethnic food. Just name it. You can find everywhere in Malaysia, especially in the big city in Malaysia. Is there a typical itinerary for uh, Americans that visit? Do they just go to Kuala Lumpur? Do they go to Penang as well? Or? Uh, it varies places in Malaysia. They can go normally. What they do is they can go for shopping. They will look into go for leisure, beaches especially. And most of them, I can see they will go for beaches and leisure. Uh, after Kuala Lumpur and Penang, mm -hmm. those will be number one and two most popular. What, right. what comes after that? Langkawi and Pangkowo are one of the most favorite destinations for the Americans. And besides Sabah and Borneo as well. Uh, speaking of uh, uh, Sabah and things, for our American audience that may not be familiar, part of the Borneo Islands yeah. is Malaysia. Yes. Uh, it does not deny that economic situation right now is not right for people to travel from one place to one place and it does affect Malaysia. But in return, we do have our backup uh, program, backup activities. Where do, we do have come up with various kind of activities and also promotional activities, not only done by our office in America, but throughout worldwide office in the world. Yeah, there are so many activities. And also our cooperation with our local tour operators and also those are based in Malaysia as well. And you also cooperate uh, with your neighbor destinations, don't you? Uh, some right. people don't necessarily go all that distance just to visit Malaysia. Yes, correct, correct. Now we are working hard, we are working closely with our neighbor, especially there are those from Singapore, from Thailand, where we come this under dual destination. Especially we are working now with Taiwan under the dual destination. We are not focusing on mono destination, but we work together hand in hand. Right. Well, it's a big part of the world to promote, and Americans are interested in more than one destination. Correct, correct. I think there is a need for us to work with other NTOs as well. As you might know, that NTOs mean National Tourism Organization. There's a good cooperation, there's a good talk, there's a good discussion between these two nations, between Malaysia and Taiwan, Malaysia and Singapore, Malaysia and Thailand, and we are looking to the possibility to work with any other NTOs that are willing to work with us.